Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. So right now, I will do some short introduction about our group. So, we have three group members. The first one is 220087, Mama Afis bin Ibrahim, that was me. And other two members is 220284, Mama Ali Shahmi bin Masuri. And the last one is 220285, Fong Jun Shen. Okay, so right now, our team have chosen 12 Strong. Okay, 12 Strong Movie, also known as 12 Strong, the declassified true story of the horse soldiers, is a 2018 American action war film. Directed by Nikolai Fuksik, uh, written by Ted Jali and Peter Crack. Okay, for some a little bit of summary lah for this movie. In the wake of the September 11 attacks, Captain Mitch Nelson leads a US Special Force him into Afghanistan for an extremely dangerous mission. Once there, the soldiers develop an uneasy partnership with the Northern Alliance to take down the Taliban and its Al-Qaeda allies. Outgunned and outnumbered, Nelson and his force face overwhelming odds in a fight against a ruthless enemy that takes no prisoner. So right now, we have to analyze two points. The first one is problem identification and solutions. The second one is the leadership strategies used in executing the mission. Hello, I am 2200284 Muhammad Ali Shami bin Masuri. So for my part, we will discuss about the analytical tools that we use in this movie which is SWOT analysis. So firstly, what is the meaning of SWOT analysis? So S is represent to strength um, w represent to the weakness, O represent to opportunities, and lastly T represent to treat. Okay, now we are going to analysis section. So the strength that shows from this film is the member of ODA 595, an elite special force unit that was ordered to link up with a local wallet. Next, they have high dedication, army, and need tactical planning as to destroy the enemy. For the weakness, the first thing uh, they need to walk in extremely cool weather. It will affect the immune system of the US Army. Next, uh, they do not have armored vehicle as transport. This will danger the US Army when they move to the target place. Uh, the Afghanistan geography also have tall peaks and deep valley. This situation difficult the US Army to attack Taliban. Next uh, is the opportunities. The Taliban army do not have the air defense as to break attack from US air strike. Thus, the help from freedom fighters of Afghanistan strengthen the US army capability. Last but not least, the threat for the US army is suicide bombers among the Taliban army. Thus, large force of Taliban army and against armored vehicle make it difficult to attack the Taliban army from the ground. Lastly, the RPG attack from the Taliban danger the US army, the only riding horse but in the end, they managed to defeat the Taliban. So, I am 220087, Mama Afis Kim Ibrahim. So, right now, I will present to you about leadership strategies used in executing the mission. So, the first strategy is making a backup plan. So, from the movie, Colonel Mohalan, the commander of the field special group, dispatched another group known as ODA 555. To assist another alliance leader known as General Atta Muhammad. The reason for the move is because General Atta Muhammad and ODA 555 have a higher chance of arriving in Maza al Sharif more faster. Another reason is Colonel Mulhalan don't want to stress and rely solely on ODA 595. So for the second strategy is taking down the enemy supply line. So, from the movie, Captain Nelson enlists the help of a few of his men to strike the Taliban supply road. The reason for this move is because Taliban supply road must be blocked and destroyed. As a result, they will be short on artillery and men to combat them. Hence, it's easier for them to defeat the Taliban. So, for the last 
leadership strategies used in executing the mission, spreading out their team members into specific location. From the movie, Captain Nelson spread out the team member into four groups known as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. This all happened when they want to cross the Tiangi Gap. Okay, so the reason for the move is because on the Tiangi Gap, it can encircle the Taliban and also to prevent the team from being ambushed by the Taliban. So, from the move, they can annihilate easily all Taliban. Good day everyone, my name is Fong Jin Xian, matrix number 2200285 and now I am going to tell you the analysis of 12 strong using the YY method. For the first Y, Y12 strong is one of the great examples of movie that portrays good leadership. 12 strong is one of the good examples of movies that shows great leadership as this was inspired from a real event of the same war as well, it's one of the perfect examples of an uphill battle victory which is an unlikely issue. So the second why is, why say battle is a steep uphill battle? The say battle is considered a steep uphill battle was mainly due to first, they were outnumbered as they only have little people and second, they were using older technology as Nelson and the others were mainly using horses and simple guns and rifles as weapons but the enemies were using modern weapons such as rockets, launchers and everything Nord. For the third why, why Toro coordination and trust is needed for this battle the answer is pretty simple no trust means they cannot give and receive orders well which for really simple that you cannot win the battle that, that easily and you may get some casualties for the fourth why, why your victory is a must for this battle? Another simple answer, it was to prevent another incident similar to 911 from happening inside Afghanistan or any other countries in the world, as this was happened like a few days after 911 happened. So for the last why, why does this battle is one of the most successful battles ever done in the US military? This answer consists of two parts saying why this is the most successful battle in the US military. The first one, all 12 people survived the war, which is an unlikely situation, but it happened. And for the second, everything was finished within three weeks as promised by Nelson. And this is very remarkable, as this, all of this will take more than years to complete. So this is a really remarkable thing that everyone should know. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you.